All right, uh, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to make buttons using Google Drawings. So you just need to get to your Google Drive. Once you're there, you click on New, More, Google Drawings. You're going to get a blank page. I always start with a shape. I like the rounded square here, so I pick that one, and I always go into this corner because in the end we're going to minimize this page to just be this image here. So I usually start in the corner. Um, once you have your shape, you can come up to the paint can. You can change the color background. So maybe I want it to be yellow or dark blue, orange. Next, I'm going to add a text box. So I click on the T. Then I'm going to click and I'm going to add whatever I want my button to say. Um, parent contact info. I'm going to highlight it, make it nice and big. That was a little too big. Unless I want to go down, which is an option. And I can come over here to a line. I want it to be centered. Then I'll come over here, highlight it, and change the font so it's pretty. And maybe I want my font color to be blue. Parent contact info. So there's my first button. I actually really don't like that blue. So I'm going to make it... Oh, yellow. All right, so I'm done with my button. Um, I'm going to come up here and title it. Parent contact button. You might even create a little folder in your drive exclusively for these buttons, so you just keep them all organized. Then I'm going to grab the corner and pull it up here to make my image just my image, okay, because I'm going to end up exporting this as an image, and I don't want all that white space. So once you pull up the corner, so again, there's a little down here in the corner, I can move that, shift that. I'm going to go up to File, Download as, PNG or JPEG, you can pick. I like PNG, don't ask me why. And it downloads it. So now I've got my image final. I can now go back to my canvas and I can go to a page. View all pages. I will just make a new page. Example. Now remember, you might organize your buttons into a table. So if I know I'm going to have six buttons, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a three by two table. So once I have my table, and that's optional, you don't have to do that, it's just, it can be nice. Um, I'm going to go over here on the right and go to my images, and I'm going to click Upload New Image. Choose File, so now I'm going to find the one I just made. For you guys on your Chromebooks, it'll be in your drive. For me, it's in my Downloads, Parent Contact button. Click Open, and then I click Upload. And there it is. Now as I continue to add buttons, my table will shift in size. And if I decide that once all my buttons are in there, I want my table to be smaller, I want it to be centered, um, I just have to be clicked in my table and I can come up here to the table button and I can go to table properties. From here I can align it so it's in the center. Um, I can also change the height and width. I can add a border so on and so forth. So now it's centered and I can keep adding more and more buttons. If you notice these were already uploaded in my course so that's why I have them here. Oops. Okay so they're all different sizes. Um, I want to make them all the same size. So again, I can go up here and now go to Cell, Cell Properties. doesn't quite tell me 
Give me the image. There we go, the image. So if I click on a button and I go to image, it'll tell me how big it is. So I can use that to um, alter the size to make them closer to being the same size. I forget what that was, 252. So I can go to end the image, come down here, 252. It'll automatically change that second number. You don't have to do anything. So there you have it. I just showed you on Google um, Drawings how to make a button. And then in Canvas, how you upload it as an image in a table. The last thing you'll want to know is how to link it. So once I have my buttons, if I want my discussion buttons to link to my discussion page, I would come over to the links button, insert content, right? And I'm going to go down to my discussions. I have all my discussions to choose from, or maybe I just want the entire index. So it takes them to the entire page of discussions. Once I click it, now this is linked. If you want to link to something outside of Canvas, so these links on the right hand side are all links within Canvas, I can come here to this link to URL and I can copy paste the URL in there. And then when I'm done, I'm going to save and publish. And there you are, just basic Google drawing button tutorial. Um, I shared with you guys my buttons. Um, feel free to copy them and edit them as long as they're copied.